Okay, welcome to another video. So this one is about the clinical aspects of inguinal hernia and the different clinical types of inguinal hernia that we can observe. So a quick mnemonic over here. So that's ROCKS. ROCKS, R-O-C-S is the mnemonic actually. So inguinal hernia ROCKS. Now R stands for the reducible type of hernia. O stands for the obstructed. C stands for the complete and S stands for the strangulated. So um, I'll start off with the complete type of hernia because there's an order and we can understand what each type really means. So what is a complete? Well, a complete inguinal hernia is one which um, goes all the way. So this, if this was the hernia extending here, whether it's direct or indirect, it goes all the way down to the base of the scrotum. Okay, uh, I won't write that twice for you. So complete um, extends to base of scrotum. All right, now, so similarly, if we've got complete, then the opposite of, of it would be your incomplete. So you also can get an incomplete inguinal hernia. Okay, which would mean that it just simply does not extend all the way down to the base of the scrotum. Okay, now I'm going to talk about reducible. Okay, so what is a reducible hernia? So this is one that actually reduces on its own when lying down. Okay. And similarly, so it would just be the opposite um, for irreducible. It does not reduce on its own when lying down. Now, um, it would have been helpful if I had a picture. So a, when it comes to the inguinal hernia, you can quite clearly see like this bulge, like it's quite a big apparent bulge. And whether or not it reduces on its own when lying down will be something that is very obvious as a clinical feature, okay? If it does not, when, when lying down, by the way, reduce on when, when lying down. And irreducible would be that it does not upon lying down. Now, what about obstructed? So these are the actual interesting ones because these two, obstructed, and what do we have left? We did R, O, C, we have S. Obstructed and strangulated are the real interesting ones because these are actually surgical emergencies. These two, okay. These two are the ones that are surgical emergencies. Okay, when it comes to the obstructed, what does that mean? Obstructed means that, remember, an inguinal hernia is nothing but the abdominal contents that are protruding out, abdominal contents that are protruding out through the inguinal canal. So when it's obstructed, this means that the intest, this, is, this just means that there are signs that the patient is presenting with signs that indicate uh, some kind of intestinal obstruction. So it's signs of the intestines becoming obstructed. Okay, okay. Then uh, of course non-obstructed would be um, no, okay, well you don't really get non-obstructed in this case, okay? Um, and then what kind of features, what kind of, remember green for symptoms, what kind of features would this present? Well, if the intestines are, intestines are obstructed, this can cause vomiting and nausea, as well as um, here, there's actually no skin changes. Now, you might ask why she's saying that, that's a bit random, but that's because when you compare it with the strangulated type of inguinal hernia, you'll understand. So with strangulated, this means that there's something happening to the supply. Strangulated for S, supply for S. So what could happen? Well, the blood supply to the bowel is being obstructed. So obstruction 
to the blood supply obstruction to blood supply of the bowel or to any of the intestines okay so this can eventually cause a gangrene and in strangulated hernias it will cause exactly the same symptoms as obstructed hernia plus visible skin changes so in this you'll actually get redness warmth and skin changes so in strangulated hernia you're likely to get redness warmth and skin changes remember this is a em surgical emergency so when it comes to um let's see okay when it comes to uh, clinical exams, there's something called the ring occlusion test. And the ring occlusion test sounds kind of complicated, but it's not that complicated. So if this is a person and, okay, let's just go to the parts that, that are important. This, remember your inguinal canal and your will always for, follow the underwear line and here, if this is the inguinal canal, um, around the mid-inguinal mid point, around 1.25 centimeters above that is where you will find the deep ring, is where you'll find your deep inguinal ring. Now, I demonstrated that over here in this picture. So this was your deep inguinal ring. And remember, the direct inguinal hernia uh, did not go through this. Direct inguinal hernia went straight through the abdominal muscles and straight into the uh, inguinal canal, whereas the indirect one went through. So if you actually put your hand and occlude this particular area, that would mean then that if you occlude this area, um, look, you're going to be preventing kind of the um, contents of the indirect hernia. So if you occlude this area and you, st so look, um, firstly, you, uh, the clinician, the step one is the clinician presses down on area of the deep inguinal ring. And then the second step would be then the second step would be to ask the patient to cough now if when he coughs there is a visible bulge this means that the um, type of hernia it was was in fact a direct uh, hernia however if there's no bulge that means that it was the indirect, the indirect type of hernia, indirect hernia. And if there was a bulge, this was the, it was kind of out of focus, this was the um, direct. Why might that be? Well, because you're pressing down onto the deep inguinal ring. And if you press down here, you are preventing this one, the indirect hernia, from actually forming a bulge visibly. But if if you press down and there's no bulge, that means you have a successfully occluded kind of ring occlusion test, occluded that bulge, occluded that uh, indirect hernia. But if there is still a bulge, that means there was something that was already here and a bulge formed because of your direct inguinal hernia. Okay, that's all for today. Um, I hope that was useful. Please like, comment and subscribe.